If you're struggling with your WooCommerce products going out of stock on a regular basis, there are two things you can do to ensure that your sales keep coming in. The first is to set up back orders and inform customers about when they can expect their purchased items. The second option is to set up email notifications that customers can opt into, allowing you to create a mailing list while securing future sales for when you're restocked. And today I'll show you how to set up both of these options, either individually or both at the same time to ensure you never miss out on sales while you're waiting for stock to arrive. WooCommerce has a built-in system for allowing backorders. Let's take a quick look at how that works. First, take a look at the main WooCommerce settings. Go to WooCommerce settings and click on products and find the inventory tab. The exact settings you choose are up to you, but I would say the main setting is this enable stock management. So you will be tracking stock levels. You can set thresholds for low stock or out of stock numbers. So this is just the number of items that you have left before it will change the status to low or out of stock. And you can choose to hide out of stock items, but if you want to do anything in this tutorial, you should leave this box unchecked. And here we have the option to display the quantity remaining when it's low, or we can always show how many are left in stock. I like this option. Then click here to save your changes and then go to any of your products. I'll go to my published products. And if I look here, I can see how many are in stock at the moment based on how my products have been set up. And this one is on back order. So let's click on edit and see what that looks like. We scroll down to the product data and click on inventory. We can see some information about the product and we can also see that we are tracking stock for this product. We have only one in, in our inventory and we are going to allow back orders. This is the main setting we want to worry about, but let's notify the customer that the item is on back order. Note that some of these settings are similar to the ones that we just looked at on the main settings page. If you change something here, it will override it just for this product, but the main global settings will stay the same. Once you're finished editing a product, you can click on update. And then if you go back to the all product screen, in case you want to edit multiple products at a time, you can use the bulk actions to edit. And this option down here, manage stock, stock quantity and back orders can all be updated with as many of your products as you select at a time, and then you can click on update. So that's nice, but there's a glaring issue here, and that is that customers will not have any information about when they can expect their purchased items to arrive. And if you ask me, that makes this feature practically unusable without the addition of a plugin. That's why we created WooCommerce lead time here at Barn2 which can be used to add essential information about waiting times for out of stock products. Just like back orders, you can set up lead time notifications to be seen globally on all products, or you can tailor the message to individual products. With this added clarity, customers can make more informed purchasing decisions, and you won't be getting angry emails from customers who purchased something weeks ago and haven't heard anything. You can find a link to this plugin in the description below. And after purchasing, you just need to upload the plugin file to WordPress, install it, activate it, and enter your license key on the settings page. Now you can see there are a bunch of additional settings for the plugin. And when I scroll down to here under lead time per stock status, we can choose to display a different lead time depending on the product's stock level. So out of stock products need a standard static lead time of 14 days in our case. And for products on back order, we can choose a different kind of lead time. This could be static or it could be dynamic. We could choose a date in the future for when this, when our new stock will be arriving. And then we can save changes. So let's go back to our products and find one that's on back order, or we can create a test product and do the same thing. 
Now, if I go into the product itself, I can scroll down to the inventory tab and I can set these lead time options individually for this product. If this one's going to be arriving sooner, I can choose a new date and then click on update. And let's visit the product page to see how that looks. So it's on back order for seven days. Now you'll notice that even though the product is on back order, they can still add it to their basket or carts and they can still check out and buy this item. And with the lead time notice, customers will be aware of how long they should expect to wait for the product to be back in stock. So what about the second option I mentioned? Well, here's one way that you can set up an email waitlist for your out of stock products. This WooCommerce waitlist plugin from Code Woo Geek, link in description, gives customers the option to be automatically notified when a product becomes available for purchase again. It adds a subscribe button to product pages underneath the payment options. After installing it, go to the settings and under the visibility tab, check this box to show subscribe form on back orders. As the way we set it up earlier, our shop is allowing back orders. Double check that the other settings are good for you and then click on save changes. I'd also recommend enabling the setting on this tab here. It might take a little bit of setup in terms of getting your privacy policy all in order, but this is definitely something you will need in a real shop scenario and not a demo store like mine. So once that's all set up, customers can then enter their email address here, or it might be pre-filled depending on their browser settings, and then they can hit this subscribe button. Then on the back end of the plugin, if you go to this all subscribers tab over here, you can see everyone who has subscribed to get notifications about different products. You can also see the status of when mail has been sent to them, and you can manually send in stock mail to different subscribers. Then you can also use the filter options and the bulk actions to send many emails at once. The great thing about these plugins is that they can be used together, giving you the best of both worlds. Just set up the waitlist email plugin as before and use the lead time plugin to add the expected waiting time on the product page. So once you're done setting this up, it'll look something like this on the front end. We can see that this is the normal WooCommerce notifier that this item is available on back order. And then added by our lead time plugin, we have the amount of time it will be on back order for. This is a dynamic range, so it's on back order for 40 days, and that will be updating every day. And then down here, we have the email subscribe option for those who want to join the waitlist. So essentially, this is just giving us the best of both plugins. People will see how long they need to wait for a product. They can still order it if they want to, or they can just choose to be notified later when that item is back in stock. Now that you have your out of stock notifications all set up, you might be wondering, what else should you do? If only there were a checklist video which went through every single step you need to create a successful WooCommerce shop. And of course, thanks for watching.